Dime Langwe in the next part. I hope you were edified by the previous part. So please hang out all the way to the end in this part. And if you're on YouTube, get out a subscriber and follow and just handle these people that are busy shadow banning the living daylights out of my life anyway, moving on. Okay, cool beans and bananas. If you're on uh, TikTok, like, heart. I don't want to be these people with a call to action. Make a boy, man. Give us a story, man. This is the gospel. I don't know. Subscribe and subscribe and follow, like, you man. Yeah. Anyway. Mmm. So this cousin. Um, not this one. Okay, fine. Yes, cousin. Because Nikki Waga and I random. And could man like Um, and I was talking about how it is that people in the occult they have a getter initiated. They get told we need somebody blood so you won't go have to sacrifice somebody. Must be very close to most love them. That's how I'm gonna give you fame and fortune. Ah, I'm gonna to kill you to take something what's wrong with you anyway so um they tend to try and sacrifice someone close to them and if they fail they get punished in some way sorry guys i need to blow my nose i should have done that before starting this part oh yeah blowing a nose with a septum piercing will show you flames yes well anyway whatever moving on Mm, you guys, ne? They, they, they get people to sacrifice people in their families, uh, etc. If the first assignment to sacrifice fails, they get punished in some way. But they, the devil, the organization, the secret society, their dark environment, the ominous space that they are in, the, the abyss, the funny cosmos, the chaotic canyon. I buy you uh, I'm sorry, guys. And now every so often I get to release my frustration through a burp. Just burp. Nobody gonna give you problems. You're already suffering. So why are you gonna mock my burp? Anyway. Listen up. This is me really just trying to be jocose and satirical in the midst of a very, very, very dire situation. Eh. Uh, hey. They try to get these people to sacrifice Shai, a human being of sorts. The first person, if they fail, they punish them exorbitantly, but then the devil doesn't let them go. Their secret society, their funny little organization, doesn't let them go. They're like, okay, so you failed with this person. Ugh, whatever, drat, you suck. You're not going to get what you want. You want a career. You want a strong life, a dream on. You still need to shed blood. So there's someone that they ultimately do prosper to sacrifice. If they get something, if they get money, if they get elevation, if they get a job, if they get sudden prosperity overnight, there is no way under heaven, if at all they failed with their first sacrifice, that they did not finish something, someone. So upon failing with Garabo, she likely has got someone that uh, has dropped dead, that... Um, that we that that didn't have the covering of the Holy Spirit. Uh, a lot of the people that people in the in the occult, upon failing to kill family members and friends, a lot of them are strangers. They cause accidents on the side of the street. Uh, they cause like random like it's, like it's like that movie, The Button. Like press this button and somebody in a different part of the planet uh, altogether that you don't know will die. Stuff like that. This cousin, just to give you a little bit of a synopsis, understanding, a bit of a prognostic um, understanding as to what's what in the world was going on here. Uh, Lumunt Lona was hyper irresponsible maskula. She was so irresponsible, in fact, that Ubaba Kona Megasala, uh, I'm Landa, every so often, Malunding, eh, I'm a musical hire for like, Beke Kaufela Saiskolo, and to the Joel. Yeah, all right. And later on, once we were now all grown up, I said that to local high school, her first job, her first two or three jobs, she had to resign from these jobs because she was the type of person to not rock up Kamantaha, because not swearing a babalas. Ona the the type is a girlfriend, it's a whole bitch, it's a boyfriend. They are a gay guy, selling a hair. The daddy six pack, the twenty four pack, the the high neck and for boyfriend, the by age, by age, by age, she let the hat the top at all. And then I was hot cola, who palamadi takes it for the remaining three weeks <laughs> of the month. <laughs> <laughs> so she used to love Kukukukolo Kadi Machalete Kakabo Kupun Kadi Me 200 Rand for transport Ma Kupun Kadi Me 500 Rand for transport Ma Rasale Ria Hawa Ya Gai Gel And let Tengo Patesu just last week And last time I checked How many account to Tako Fushini Luko Jete Luko Edgar So eh Ya Gai Ah no it's just that this Yeah you know why Unu is a boyfriend But the way go fella Ah Aba Fiza Chaldea Go fella On Umchaivo She was like that 
As a result, she really decimated her career in the beginning. Uh, she went to school and she went to school and she went to school up and down in um, East-West campus and she went to school and she went to school ever since high school. One of those, okay? When they pulled strings for her to get her first job, messed up, and before they could fire her, she quit. Second job messed up before they fired her, she could quit. Third job messed up before they fired her, she could quit. She ended up having to get out of corporate South Africa altogether and settled for retail. Anyway, that was this cousin, okay? Uh, so she basically decimated, destroyed her career. Ultimately, my mom connected her with a job at her company. And in that job, she appeared to be stable because she had learned her lesson. But a whole bunch of years had progressed and she was looking at Garabo, who was flying like a bird. Kick into Nelly Furtado. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. I don't know where my school needs. I don't know where my... And she's looking at Nelly Furtado, floating around in the room. And she was very competitive with me for like, I don't know why, because Nekimo Dumpa in everything. Anyway, whatever. Upon seeing me soar like a bird, and upon realizing that her career has been stagnated by her irresponsibility, she got jealous. Um, and so there were like strains in our relationship and whatever. And I was like, whatever, Mona, brilliant, brilliant girl, exercise of control, because you and I, Ribangani. This is like a very short version of the story. She actually betrayed me like no man's business already before I got my career up and running. But I was like, I don't want to deserve a second chance. I don't want to deserve a second chance. You guys are learning that in a second chance. I wish I never did. She might have left me alone because I want to win their distance. Sometimes you have a yaga and because they're distant. Anyway, whatever. So I gave this random buffoon a second chance. Uh, and I let her back in my life as a best day, you know? Yeah. I like, more situation in Kosuke. I hope I don't get anything before. Anyway, whatever. So here is this like random female envying me now because my career is thriving due to the fact that I pitch on Monday at work. Yes, whether or not I live Baba Las, and I'm not in the business of spending all of my salary on my dumb boyfriend. What I don't know, I need to I'm still. And then, like really and truly, after that, I get a child to petrol. Anyway, whatever. Cool, right? So this cousin was just like that random, irresponsible, random buffoony. Ne? Mm. Marnegele da for her on some girl trying to cancel her be better type thing. However, by the time she got the job that my mom had unhooked her up with, she realized that she had messed up. But by then, Olale Morajo. Olale Morajo. It's like failing. Of that are two grades ahead. When I send them to grade 10, when I go metric, because why are you so fail? Why are you so sabale? Why no jola rather than all a meds test? Mm. She was behind, and she ended up so behind that she started making friends that were much younger than her. And I'm like, mm, signs of regression. Udaba in late 25, which me a ho in late 21. Okay, yeah, I'm back. I'm a 21 year old friend, so I'll cook Anyway, whatever. So here it is that I'm dealing with this like cheeky, ne? Hallelujah, it go fee. Im nander. Okay, we get to do that. Mm. So here's the situation. Chiki wa wanorogo morao, right? Bamu si yodze morao, rao. In comparison to me, so she developed these green eyes. I was like killing it, thriving. I had bought my car. I was making that figure, so that, 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 that heavy salary. And I was just growing and growing and growing. I told you guys that I grew very fast at the corporate ladder. Uh, it was a combination of the fact that I was responsible and um, I was good at what I did. And I'm also very smart. So uh, all that just kind of, you know, propelled me up, up, up. And then she was looking at me. Ow, 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 type chick. Yeah, mm. That's what was good. Mm-hmm. And then uh, something rose up in her that was very, very um, dark. Like she ended up just kind of observing me in a very dark, dark way from a distance. And she left it alone for maybe like a year or two. But ultimately she was like, I can't. Like I soared so fast up the corporate ladder that there came a time when I was, she was like, Angwazi, let's move to the next part.